In Onshape, you can add external threads to shafts or posts. First, start by clicking on the external thread command, which is located here. I will click on it, and then we're going to select different edges of cylinders that we want to apply it to. You can apply to multiple edges. I will select this one, and here we can see a preview of the thread. Note that we're also getting a warning that an exact match for the thread size was not found. That's because this model is in millimeters and the standard is set to ANSI. If I change it to ISO, now it's recognizing a standard size for M10. Then we have the pitch value. From the drop down list, I can change that. We can see an update to the preview on the screen. And when we find the one that we want, we can leave it at that value. Note that this external thread is not actually going to cut away material in the model from the face, just because that ends up being very computationally intensive. Then we have our value here for the end type. Right now it's set to blind with a numerical value. You can also choose up to next. And you can see how it is taking up the entire surface. When I changed it to up to next, one of the options went away. Let me go back to blind. You can see that here we have the option to split the face depending on the length of the external thread. And this is good, but let's say I want this length to be different. Let's punch in a, another value and you can see the update on the computer screen. There are a couple other different options that you have here. You can add a chamfer to the edges that you are applying the external thread to. And here we have the length of the chamfer and the angle. We can change this value. Maybe I want it to be 0.5 instead. And you can also add an undercut to where the external thread is going to end. And so here we have the diameter of the undercut, and then we have the length of the undercut. And so maybe in this case, I want it to be slightly less. I will punch in a value of two. When I'm happy with this, I can hit the check mark. And there you can see the external thread in the model with the chamfer and the undercut.